But this here is actually going to be a six part. And I'll show you why. A six part as far as uh, six, uh, six, six pieces, six, six, seg six segments, segments, six segments. Six That's what segments. it'll be. Yeah, say that fast. Six I don't think I should. <laughs> um, can we get this here? There's, can all you right. see it okay? <laughs> I can. There's six of them. And they all are stars. Can you see that they're all stars? I can. So this was actually a shop hop that six different shops did year before last. Or was it last year? Shop anyway. hop. Is that similar to a pub crawl but with quilts? Yes. And less alcohol? <laughs> yes, le less alcohol. Okay. And, and that's the same kind of thing row by row is going to be, but row by row is bigger than, than just that. I have to but frame we're it. We're going to show how to do this one. Now, is that, that, that's, one that is does not have that does have flying geese in it, does it not? Because it crisscrosses yes, in the middle. Yes. And what else does it have in it? Uh, the other it's thing not. It's not a drunkard's pattern because there's no curve to it. Okay. Um, but it definitely has the flying geese. What is that? Josh, help me. I, I got half one of them. Square triangles. Half square yes. triangles. Half square triangles. Yes. Okay. So this all this has. It's close, man. Is flying geese. I thought that was red tie. <laughs> <laughs> flying geese. Yes. Has square triangles and squares. Okay. So you have four pieces. Can we go over here and show the... Yes. Four basic shapes. Well, three shapes and four colors. And we have four of these. Okay. Ten of these. Two of these. Do I need to pull, pick, pick them up? No, that's okay. I can see them. And two of these. Nice. So they're put together step by step by step, and then you end up with that block. Okay. You can see all and the pieces And that there. is, the traditional name for that is free trade block. Free trade block. Yes. And I have not done the history to find out exactly what was called that that's originally. An interesting name. I was going to um, say, yeah. For the shop hop, it was called Susan's Block. So this is my block out of here. Okay. But the I'm trying to formulate a title for this YouTube video out of out of what you're saying right now. So uh -oh. I haven't gotten there, <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. But uh, well, we'll see. It, it's it'll organic. So I have I do have some kits, and it has the pattern, and it shows step by step in there with pictures and everything. So it's easy enough to do, mm -hmm. and the piece is already cut out for you. Nice. So th that's done. So we're gonna go. <clears throat> I think I can show this up here. You think think so? I think so. If not, we'll uh, switch okay. it up. Okay, we have half square triangles. Yep. And there are two of them in there. Can you see two of them? I can. S yes. Okay. Yeah. Because they're they're turning they're, they're turned towards them. the inside. As I was looking for them on the outside. Yeah. They're, they're in the inside. Yep. And then you have. What are these called again, guys? That's not the flying geese, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that is the flying That's geese. That's a flying geese. And there's four of them. Mm-hmm. And then you have some squares to add in. Mm-hmm. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to make this row, this row, and this row. So you've got a row this way, and a row this way, and a row this way. Okay. It's interesting because the way that it's turned on the quilt, you you couldn't tell, in my opinion, you, you can't really tell that it actually flows that way because of the way that it's stitched. So it's actually really, really cool the way okay, it comes it's, together. Okay, yeah. The, what this, this is on the quilt, these are blocks set on point. Right. So they, they, they are set a certain way. And actually, this will be a seven part because at the end, I'll show you how to put it all together so and do how to put them on point. Susan's block is on point. There we go. There's my title. <laughs> Susan's on point. But she, no, this, she calls it the Susan block. Mm -hmm. So, so anyway, the, free trade the, first, block. the first row is this one. Mm -hmm. And there's actually two of them. There's this one and this one down here. And those are identical. Yes, they're identical. So what you're going to do is you are going to take your flying geese block and you're going to sew... A square, you'll go, at, go sew a square here and on the other end, and then 
wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your nose and the magic of television and it's all done. Here you got that. And that's the flying geese row. And you've got two of those on that. Right. There. Which then, kind of, uh, in TV world, we call that a bookend. You got one on each end. It kind right. of keeps it together. So that, that is step by step. The hardest thing on this whole thing is the flying geese, and we learned how to do those. On Friday. So we know how to do them, and we just sew them together. Of course, it's always quarter-inch seam allowance unless it's something different, and you press where? Always to the press dark side. Unless. However, on the flying geese, they lay flatter if you press it away from the, ge the goose part. But we've pressed these towards these, and we have two of those. And we have the half square triangle. Da -da 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 -da, and I lost my square already. My plain old by itself square. Here it is. So we have these flying geese. And we make two of those. Mm -hmm. And I've pressed those towards the dark. Yep. And then you got to make sure when you put these together that you put in the right direction. Because see, if you put them this way, the pattern in the middle and the star will, will not work out right. So you've got to put these the right direction and you'll make two exactly the same. Okay, so you'll end up with two of these. Hmm. And you see where they are in here? Go in the center. And I bet I made this one, no. I did make this one backwards. Ah! <laughs> so what we get for, no I didn't, yeah I did. I made this one backwards. That's what you're not supposed to do. <laughs> I threw them together and did it wrong. That's okay. Sometimes you have to do the uh, the, the the wrong things so that way. You Sometimes can you have to, to right. practice unsewing. Right. That's why I spend most of my day. I do the <laughs> wrong things so people can live by example through what not to do. <laughs> well, it happens, Susan. It's okay. Yeah, I did both of those backwards. <laughs> Well, I threw them together because I said, I want to show a square before I have them sewed together. So now you sew those two together, and you have that unit. Some people call this here an hourglass unit, and it kind of looks like that, too. Mm -hmm. So you have that, and... Oh, wait a minute. Those are right. I was just turning them wrong compared to this. I was turning them this way instead of this way. So you have these with your flying geese sewn on to the end. I think we need to do do. Uh, Let's go over here. Close up, close up. We have your flying geese, and you see this point. Hold it up here. Is that good? Mm -hmm. You see this point here, and this point. Here, am I not? And brighten that up just a little bit. I don't know how to. No, 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 Josh. Uh, not, not you, Susan. You're, you're fine. <laughs> I don't know how to wiggle my nose and make the cameras work yet. <laughs> I can do the sewing part. You have your little point right here, and your little point right here. And you want those to be as close together as you can because all your points matching shows quality work. So what I do is I go into the top of this point on the goose. And I don't know if you can see that, but I've got the pin. There mm -hmm. we go. And then I put that pin into the top on the square unit. And you put that there, leave the pin in, and hold hold it in place and so when you sew you'll sew on this seam here and when you get to close to this you have to take the pin out of the way because you don't want to run over the pins ever right Not and you're about, you're at the halfway point at that point anyway so you probably don't need the pin right you're here and it's sewing it and you'll want to sew right above the little goose right there mm -hmm. because if you sew through the goose it'll actually cut off part of the point Oh. Because, remember, thread takes up a little space in the fold and stuff. So you will end up with your half of this center unit. And then by the magic of TV, 
I have one. This is the middle row. See, so you have your middle row now, mm -hmm. which is this one here. And then you just sew those uh, middle so pieces the, together. the middle row and the geese rows here. And here again, you do this. This here, you'll do the point with the, the pin to make sure that they fit, fit good. I'm just going to throw it in there real quick. But, and you'll end up, you know, you sew it together and you end up with your block in the middle. And that's step by step by step. And nice. now it's on video and you can stop it step by step and follow, it, follow around That's right. and make it. What started with a bunch of individual pieces has now turned into a, a beautiful block. block. Very cool. <clears throat>